For this project, you're going to need to design a square maze. Now, one of the re requirements is that there is one entrance and one exit. So that's one way you might want to start first, is decide where you want to come in and where you want to go out and come up with a way to get there. So what you're going to do is click away the light blue uh, boxes in order to form your path. And you want your path to be a little tricky with offshoots that are dead ends. Um, one thing you might want to do is have a dead end that turns a little bit so that if you look down, you're going to think it can go somewhere, but as soon as you turn that corner, you realize it's a dead end and you have to head back. So you want to make it a little tricky for people. The other thing is you do not want any white islands. So this island right here, there's no way to get to it. So you're going to need to connect it somewhere else. So you could do something like this and make something parallel going on, um, etc. So there should be, there can be multiple ways to get to the exit, but you do not want more than one exit to exist. So I might go down here, finish my way out, and then start adding other paths to get confused. Okay, um, here's an example of once it's all filled in. So you'll notice there are no single white blocks all alone. Everything is connected somewhere. You have an entrance up here in the upper left and an exit down here in the lower right with no additional ones. Now once you have a maze that you're happy with, then over here to the right you're going to hit change, which is going to cause all of your blocks to turn into the dark blue. Okay. Um, the next step is to take your white paper and you can lay your white paper on top of this and shade in all of the blue lines to represent the walls of your maze. The other thing you're going to want to do is take a screenshot of this maze to save for another project that we will be doing in Scratch. So to save this picture for later, hold down the two orange keys. You're looking for one in the lower left that says FN for function. And then in the upper right, there should be a PRNSCR uh, for print screen. If you hold down those keys, it's like taking a copy of the screen that you're looking at. Then if you open the Paint program, which I do not have on my laptop because this is an Apple, but if you were to open the Paint program, you can paste this whole page into Paint, crop out just your maze, and then press crop again and it'll get rid of all the extra stuff and you can save it as a picture file. Now you don't need that for this project, but that will be handy to have for when we um, design a maze game later. So once you have the paper with this filled in, you can then open SketchUp and start your plan. The reason we're doing this first is so that with your paper, you will know exactly how many blocks over to make a certain wall so that you don't end up um, with areas that don't fit together correctly.